So hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to revisit a location I did a video on probably about six or seven weeks ago. It's northwest of Rhodes. There at that time it was strictly fishing, but on this one we're going to actually go back and use two turkeys for carcass fishing. Um, you can search the area, the woods right around Rhodes, or just go ahead and search the woods right around where the um, location is marked. You won't have any trouble finding one, so go ahead and just search that out before you get over there. I'm going to go ahead and pull up on the map and show you where we need to head to. So go ahead and head over to northwest of Rhodes. You can see it right here on the map on the waypoint. You need to head right to where the shore kind of bends on a half circle right here, right where it cuts into the land. So once you make it to the fishing spot, go ahead and just identify the big rock out in the water. And straight to your left, you'll see the two small stones right there. Right over in this area is where you need to set up your turkeys. Uh, like I said, I mean, you can use deer if you want to, but I prefer using turkeys. If you need to find an area for the turkeys, you can actually look in the woods right beside this location or the woods all around uh, roads. I mean, there's turkeys all over the place right there. So. so as you come out here, go ahead and make sure you drop the turkey just as the shore starts coming in. See how the water's kind of moving back and forth? You want to kind of drop it right about, right about here. There we go. Sometimes it's not in the water, sometimes it is. That's how you want it. Let's go ahead and grab the other one. And let's go ahead and take this guy. Well, it's already working. <laughs> so I don't got, I don't have to convince you guys. It's not clickbait. <laughs> and let's take the other one. And I usually drop it right about here. And I do use two turkeys. Uh, let me, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Now let's grab him. Let's bring it right, right about here. Yeah, that's where I want the second one. So, um, yeah, I uh, don't even have to convince you. Like like you said already, we got uh, largemouth bass. Uh, yeah, both largemouth. You got steelhead trout. And then you got some of the small 75 cent to a dollar fishes and stuff that you can get. Um, let me just get out of the way so we can actually do it so that I'm not scaring the fish off. And now also too with this I've learned you don't always have to pull your fishing pole out to get the fish to spawn as you can see they're doing it really quick. Um, kind of a shout out to Jed Langston he commented on one of my videos and said that you know when you actually trigger the mechanic in the game uh, the casting range of the fish they actually stay off the shore more and then it actually is true I've noticed that that they actually do stay farther away. Uh, when you do um, that uh, method before the fish actually start coming on shore. I've always just done it because I thought, hey, I need to do it so I can see the fish. But you don't have to. They'll come to the carcasses when you put them out. And as you can see, I mean, we got lake sturgeon. We got steelhead trout. Let me go ahead and pick these up uh, because with the bigger fish like that, unless you pick them up, of course, we all know the fish will stop coming onto shore. So, I mean, right away, we got $7.25 with this just one fish by itself. And all of these still had trout, these largemouth bass, these are $2.50 a piece as well. You could carry 10 of those. Once you've got 10 of each fish, if you want to, you could take out a varmint rifle or you could take out a knife and you could actually damage the carcass and you could carry 10 more of each one. And we've got, we got a ton of money just a short amount of time that it took me to put the turkeys down. I mean, they were already coming on shore before I could even walk away. And as you can see, they just keep coming. Uh, you know, after probably doing it four or five times, the turkeys get kind of old. So you might want to switch the turkeys out or at least pick the turkeys up and move away about 100 feet and come back. And they'll just keep coming. I mean, it's basically it's an unlimited location. So we'll go ahead and pick these guys up again and just keep at it. And it's probably the fastest method, especially because it's so close to the roads and the butcher. So the only thing you're going to have to wait for is the animation of picking up the fish. And that's going to be anywhere you go. So it's not just because, of course, it's this location. And as you see, I'm picking up fish still. And I already cleared up that carcass right there. And there's more coming. So that's this is why it's good to have at least two turkeys. So as you can see, we're just right up here to the northwest of Rhodes. And we only need to travel just right down here. It takes just about a minute to get back to Rhodes to the butcher. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look what we got real quick. You know, the red fin pickerel, I got 10 of those, 10 of the largemouth bass, six of the bluegills, um, you know, 10 of the stalehead trout, 
and I got a lake sturgeon as well. And then also too, these pay out pretty good as a rock bass. So just kind of wanted to show you, you always want to kind of just max out your largemouth bass, your steelhead trout, and make sure you get your lake sturgeon. So let's go ahead and start selling stuff real quick and see what we ended up with. Right now we have $2,918. So let's go ahead and see what everything adds up. And go ahead and make sure you get your turkey carcasses as well and bring them back. Every little bit counts. So so for both of those, it's $2.40. The Lake Sturgeon is $7.25. And let's go up here to the Redfin Pickerel. All of those is $10. All 20 of the Largemouth Bass is $20. Or all 10 of them is $20. Um, the Bluegill, they ended up being $4.50. And, I mean, the turkey feather is $1.80. I mean, that not the purpose of what we're doing so still had trouts twenty five dollars uh chain pickerel five dollars and then a rock bass is eight dollars so hey guys i hope this fishing carcass method helps you out if it does i'd appreciate it if you would like and share this video with your friends also too if you haven't already i would appreciate it if you would subscribe click the notification bell so anytime i have any of these exploits or glitches or whatever you want to call them come out um, you get notified right away you don't have to search YouTube all over you get them coming right to you so like always guys I'll catch you next time in the next video